guys if you intend on using an ankara to cut a uh, for a coil neckline our bot mission our bot mission because eh, it's not going to come out well it's better you use a stretchy fabric a fabric that stretches a fabric that is light so it falls so it slacks well so it slacks down well let me use that term so it falls down well so if you want to know how to cut a coil neckline keep watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button hey there you're welcome back to my youtube channel and if you haven't already subscribed but if you already subscribed to my channel you welcome back and if you're new to this channel what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video and do not forget to share to your friends and also comment down below so this tutorial um we're going to cut out a coil neck that's the neckline that folds down that has a, um, a sag or a slag yes so for this already you're going to use your pattern paper first if you do not have a pattern paper you can draft it out on um, a lining after which you could now transfer it to your fabric so this is my um I've already drafted out my basic um, the basic bodies I uh, I need, and if you do not know how to draft a basic body, so I'm going to drop the link down below for you to be able to um, for you to watch how you can draft out a basic body. This is a very simple step that you can be able to do by yourself. So for this, um, I do not need a, a neckline for the front for the core neck. But um, since I'm going to be using this um, basic bodies to cut out for the back and the front, so I have to put in a neckline here, um, as you can see. So I have to go in with 1.5 inches because I do not want a deep um, neck at the back. And then I have to cut um, here with 3 inches. So it's 3 inches here to 1.5 inches at the depth. So um, let's dive right in. So for this, So I've already, as I earlier stated, I've already used exactly this basic pattern to cut out the back. So for this, um, this is my bust line. This is my bust line. And this is majorly the part you need when you are going to cut your cow neck. So for this bust line, I would like to go in with 3 inches here. As you can see, 3 inches here. So why am I going in with three inches? Is because if you can, um, I want the um, slag slag to fold into um, come down a little bit. Yes, I want it to come down a little bit. So that's why I'm going. So in total, it's like um, ten um, point five inches. That's ten and a half depth from your shoulder, from your neckline, as you can see. So ten point five so after that i'm going to take it and slant it to my arm o. so so it depends on how um sluggy you want your coin to be if you don't want it that sluggy you could just um, measure out eight inches it won't be that folded but if you want it much folded you increase your um what's it called you increase the depth of it so this is 10.5 i just added extra three inches to my bust um, line i went down below with three inches so afterwards we're going to cut now so um, i'm going to turn the fabric so i can be able to cut so i'm going to cut like this to this place but i'm going to make sure that i don't get to the end of it This is it guys this is it so after i have done this i'm going to place my fabric now and place on my fabric so while cutting this are it's going to be placed on my fabric like this is going to be like um a fish mouth is open <laughs> so i'm going to open it like this and mind you there's something else you also need to note when you're cutting your coin neck when you after slitting open when you open it uh, make sure that um you measure this open um space if you want your cleavage to show then you could open it wide to 10 inches 
but just mind you your cleavage is going to it's going to reveal your cleavage but if you do not want uh, your cleavage to show probably you want a decent kind of coinage then um oh the wind is um disturbing me then you leave it at 7.5 inches so this is 7.5 inches sorry for that let me place it so if you want a more decent coinage that is not going to reveal your cleavage, you leave it at about um, 7.5. So this is 7.5 and this is moderate for a coinage. So next thing is I'm going to um, outline my, uh, um, mark out the, uh, uh, what's it called? So mind you, there's no, there's no neckline so it's going to be like this it's going to be like this so i'll come to this arm all point the wind is not my friend today so i'll come to this neckline mark it out as well i said neckline this arm all see the markings then i'll come to this place as well and mark it out So that's it guys so next step is i'm going to cut out um, my markings and mind you once i get to this place i forgot to tell you guys you're going to straighten it out like this there should be no neckline so you're going to take it like this straight straight the wind is not just my friend today so this is it guys so it has pull up so this is it guys so i'm gonna cut out now i'm going to cut out this is it guys then you come to this um your shoulder line and then you create a knot so you'll be sure um of it so but this is it guys so you can seal the coin neck so guys for the neckline you can either um, decide to use boba bias or you use um, interfacing for for it 
um, whichever um, you see uh, deem fit to use. So for me, I decided to use interfacing, and you can see the way I cut it. All you have to do is to put your fabric and cut to the ham or um, set line or section and all of that. So that's just it. As you can see, then afterwards, I am going to sew the neckline. Um, the front is going to be um, front to front so that when you turn it, the front will be at the back. I don't know if you understand. Let me um, just describe it for you. So this is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to sew it at this place. On this place. And once I sew it, I will um, turn stitch. And afterwards, I would also um, press um, iron. So it's as simple as um, that. Then once you do that, um, you've done that, and you turn over, you see that it's going to pull it down. So why I normally choose interfacing for cow neck is because um, interfacing as um, it adds more gravity, and you know anything that has weight tends to drag. Um, an object down or drag the um, stuff down so interfacing is going to drag so guys this is the cord neck and you can either make it um sleeveless or you can um add your sleeve to it if you want to make it um sleeveless you have to weave around the arm o and if you want to add sleeve make um add a sleeve then that's also okay and this cord neck kind of top um dress is something you can put on on literally anything you want your trouser your skirt so you can see it's versatile so this is it so let me get closer to it so as you can see i added um i sewn the um um interface um um to it so you can see so you weave it to make it look neater and after doing that let me bring the back for you guys let me bring the back so after doing that you can see the back i used the material to create a boba bias for it you can buy either buy boba bias or you can use the fabric to make a boba bias so that's it guys then at the side i just sew it two two inches in because it's a free blouse so it does not need to be tough it's tight it's a free top it does not need to be tight so Except you're sewing um, the kind of tight gown, then you take your measurement. But if you're not, I just went in with two two inches. So that's it, guys. So this is your cut up. So um, why I picked um, using an interface is because um, interface um, it gives it more weight, and you know that anything that has weight and is dragging the wooden um, being joined to something is going to join it down. It's going to drag it down. I mean. So that's the more reason I added an interface to make it more slack to pull it down. So after which you iron. So this is it, guys. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button and look out for my other videos. So thank you, guys. And comment down below and don't forget to share. Mm -hmm.